the um, the natural uh, procreation that happens with uh, the birth process in nature is truly an act of God. It's not an act of the state. Of course, in the world of legal, we need make-believe, uh, pretend. Uh, we know that a child has very, very soft and uh, uh, skin. Um, so they're very pretender in the legal world before they issue the legal vendor. And uh, therefore, in the legal system, they have to have their version of the birth. So it's something unnatural, not natural. Um, we, uh, the closest I could call this is like a cesarean birth. And in fact, uh, in the legal world, everybody could be compared to being born cesarean through Caesar. Um, in the spiritual or the natural uh, birthing process, um, we're, we're born by act of God. So there is a difference between act of God and act of state. So when we even break down the names, they're going to have an act of God name and then an act of state name on the record. Um, and therefore, uh, did even the two happen at the same time? Not really, uh, because we know that they register the assigned legal name after birth um, and the actual time that the child was birthed really out of the true womb of the mother, the natural birth, um, happened on a separate date. So they're, um, to an extent, the legal system are like predators. I call them predators because they put a two dates on the record, but they always are asking you, what is your date of birth? But your date of birth and the registration date, which is really the date that the assignment came into effect on the legal surname, um, was completely different than the actual birth date. So when you tell someone what your birth date is anyways, it's not, it's not accurate um, because you're mixing the two together. The two dates didn't happen at the same time. So remember, birth date and registration date are two different things. Uh, one, one is, in truth, the day you were born, came out of your mother's womb. The registration date for the state is the act of state date. One is the act of God, one is the act of state. Now, uh, again, the uh, legal system uh, will even tell you what they're doing, and they even define, and I did this on a very earlier video way back when, out of this early 78 videos, but I'm just going to uh, talk about it here. So I'm going to read Act of God. Uh, this is out of the Canadian Law Dictionary. It says, amounts to an interference in the course of nature so unexpected that any consequence arising from it is to be regarded as too remote to be foundation for successful legal action. So could you bring legal action against an act of God? No. But if I participate as an act of the legal state, yes, I could. Because I've actually said something that brought myself into the concept and jurisdiction of the state. It is what comes out of your mouth will damn you. Now we're going to read Act of State, basically two paragraphs down for where Act of God was, and it says, and these viper snakes that write these definitions fully know God's word, what it is, and they're even telling you and mocking you many times and wondering if you'll ever wake up and ever see it, but they know most people will not. So here's how it starts off the definition for Act of State. In the broad sense of the term, broad and spacious is the road leading to destruction and many are the ones finding it. Narrow is the road leading to life and few are the ones finding it. Now I'm going to read the definition over again. In the broad sense of the term, many lawful acts of the executive government and many instances of the exercise of the prerogative of the crown might be designated acts act of state. There is a narrower sense, now we're on the narrow, and that in which the term is more technically, if not exclusively, employed, watch the words, ploy, to deceive, which related to acts done or adopted by the ruling powers of independent states in their political and sovereign capacity particularly an act injurious 
to the person or to the property of some person who was not at the time of that act a subject of her majesty which act is done by any representative of her majesty's authority civil or military and is either previously sanctioned or sub subsequently ratified by her majesty now clearly they just told you that an act of state is actually in essence injuring an act of God, someone who was not born a citizen. And that's why uh, we need to do the research um, right into uh, this you can find online. I'm sure if you've got the internet. Um, it's called Citizenship Without Consent. Um, very easy article to find. And it, and it clearly will tell you that in truth, no child could ever be born a citizen of any country because it requires consent and the ability uh, to contract because it come because the secular world or we'll just call it secular citizenship with these countries that engage in monetary activity have duties, debts, and obligations that come with it, and you cannot place a duty, debt, and obligation upon a child. So until that child reaches what they consider to be age of legal election to choose whether they're going to be a participant or not, the state is there to protect the child from any damages. I'm not saying they perfectly do this, and I'm not going to go down that subject matter, but they are in that position in theory. We decide to take on the burden under legal citizenship and become that in concept because of our own minds and our own actions going forward. So no child was ever born a citizen of any of these legal nations. And therefore the original document, of course, that is filled up by the parents is void ab initio if in any way it was implying that the child was being entered into a contract or its given name, which is private, was being defiled and placed into the public forum. So we absolutely require due diligence. I hope these videos are helping you. We're taking our time to do them slow. We're trying to do them uh, in a shorter period of time, only maybe five or six minute videos. And I hope that's assisting people uh, doing their research so they don't have to go into the past 78 videos which have a lot of meat and potatoes but some of those videos can go on 20 30 minutes or more so uh, all i'm doing right now is summarizing and trying to bring people up to date that may be first visiting the uh the, the educational site